Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've got about two pounds of pork shoulder, and the first thing you want to do is cut this into portionable sizes that can go through the meat grinder. You can save yourself the hassle of cutting this yourself and just buy ground pork. But you're also going to need pork belly fat, and that's going to be more difficult to find ground up. So you want to get this sliced up into portionable sizes so this could be ground up as well. And when you're done it should look something like this. Now when it comes to grinding meat, you can either go with the big die, like this one here, or you can go ahead and use the smaller die, and some folks like to use both. But today we're going to go with the large one. And I like to alternate every other piece, pork meat with pork belly fat, as I grind. And as you can see here in double time, it cranks out beautifully. Now to season, we're going to pour in some salt, black pepper, smoked paprika, cumin, ground clove, chopped garlic, red wine vinegar, corn syrup, or you can use brown sugar, and lard. I also like to grind up my own chilies. Now all of these ingredients will make a real nice chorizo sausage, but if you like your chorizo pasty, you're going to want to add this as well. This is my homemade chili sauce, or enchilada sauce if you will. But I filmed this recipe a while back, so I'll include a link at the end of this video and in the description below. And you can add about a cup's worth of this to the ingredients we already included with the ground pork. And I like to start getting this mixed up using a dough hook. This helps to slowly incorporate the ingredients without throwing them all over my counter. Then I swap out to a paddle and I work the sides with a spatula till everything is infused. And you might want to check out a few other video recipes I have up. My Italian sausage and my boudin recipe are both excellent. Now once you get this all scraped down into a bowl, you're ready to prepare to make the links. Now if you don't want to stuff hog casings, I have an alternative that you can use in my Italian sausage video. But here I've got hog casings I've been soaking for the last 30 minutes and you want to cinch it on your horn and get it cut off here and then cinch the rest of it back on so we can get the air out of the tube. And all you have to do now is run the chorizo mix through the grinder and stop it right when it reaches the tip. Then you just pull the casing back down and you tie it in a knot. Now some air is going to be okay in here but what you don't want is your hog casing blowing up into a balloon. But now you can turn it back on and start cranking out your chorizo. Just be sure to turn it off when you've only got about two inches of casing left. And once again, just tie it in a knot. And at this point, you can go ahead and twist links if you want. And if you take a pen, it's a real good idea to work your way all the way around the chorizo and poke out all that remaining air. And there you have it, pork chorizo right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.